All right, YouTube. I got done with my little pork uh, shoulder steak video, right? And we did that at 350 degrees. We let it sit in there for a while. You know, we haven't cleaned this grill in like forever, right? We normally do hot and fast. The last two cooks have been low and slow, right? Um, we just went over this and we know that at 460 degrees, generally cooking fats and oils and stuff, they start to smoke and combust. And look what's happening over here to this. This is a dirty grill, son. And I'm guessing, since we did so many lows and slows, when I open that, there's going to be a fire. All right? Now, what's happened is, is this grill is different than like the BFG and the other Rectex. The other Rectex all have these grease collectors, right? Well, this one here, not so much, son. You know, at the bottom of it's like a closed-in kettle grill, like a Weber credit grill. So all you got down there is a fire cup. So that grease hits the deflector, we're going to get only smoke. That grease makes it down past that deflector, we're going to get like flare-ups. Those flare-ups, well, they're going to cause a flare-up on the deflector pan as well. Let's see what we're working with. Hopefully we don't burn ourselves. All right? So there goes our flare-up. That flare-up's only happening because that's a dirty grill, son. All right? Ain't nothing to worry about too much. It's all stainless steel. It can take it. All right? We're going to close that grill up. We're going to turn down the heat. It's going to burn out itself, right? I'm not too worried about it. But will it flare up? Hell yes, it's going to flare up. How do you fix that? Well, in between your low and slows and your hot and fast, do yourself a favor and clean out that grill, all right? So we're going to close up our grill. Boom. You know, we're done with this video, guys. If you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Will it flare up? Hell yes, it will if it's not clean. See y'all later. Bye-bye.